Hello, it's Mark Matosh here for Markham 3D, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this steam effect in Eevee, and then create this steam effect in Cycles. Now, I've got a free smoke texture pack that's available on Gumroad. There's a link below. It's for free. If you'd like, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with any other free content that I'm releasing as well. So let's start off by deleting that default cube, and we click Edit Preferences, and we'll type in Image and import image as planes. We need to have that enabled. From here, we go file, import images as planes, and we find our images that we've downloaded. And here are my four. Let's just import images as planes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete three of them and just work on the one texture. Let's crack open up into Eevee, and this is what we're looking at. Let's go into shading. And from here, I'm going to get rid of this color node to the diffuse. So let's get rid of that. And we've got a bit of yuckiness here. So let's come over into the material tab and change blend mode from opaque into alpha blend. And now we've got our wonderful smoke texture. From here, let's create our particle system. So shift A, add in a plane. And I'm just gonna scale that and scale it on the X to make that a little bit thinner. Let's come over into the particle tab and press plus to create a new particle system. We want it to be an emitter. I'm gonna drop it down to about 100. Frame start, I'm gonna to change to minus 200 and I'm gonna give the lifetime of the particle 300 frames. So if I were to come down here and just create a timeline and press play, we can see that the particles are going up. It's not floating up like steam should. So from here we go into render and we'll go render as we are just going to do object and I'm just going to select the mo uh, smoke. So let's click smoke and then let's go object rotation. So it's got the same rotation and let's just change the scale to be somewhat bigger. And then if we press play, we see that it's still dropping. If we come down a bit to field weights and gravity, let's turn gravity off and let's have a look. So it's shooting up. That's a little bit too much. So let's come up here into velocity and we'll change this to 0.1. And what will happen now is it should just kind of like gently, just kind of slowly rise up. And you can see that here they're popping as they disappear, as they die. Now that seems a little bit too solid for me. So I'm just going to bring this maybe down to 10. And we can kind of see that we've got this repeating texture business. So what we'll do is if we select our smoke, I'm just going to do a shift D and Y. Let's just duplicate this three times. Let's come into the one. I'm going to duplicate the material and we'll go smoke PNG two. duplicate this material three and duplicate La four. So now when we come into our particle system, let's change it from object to collection. We haven't created a collection. So let's select all these control G to create a new group or collection as it used to be. And we will call this smoke collection. Now, if we come back into the particle system collection, we should have a smoke collection. And now if you press play, we can kind of see that we've got it spawning. Maybe 10 is a little bit too low. Let's go 50, 20. And we'll go back to the start. Let's just hide these ones just so we can see. And there we have it. That's what we've got in Eevee. Let's change over to Cycles. And we've got a few more options to work with at the moment. The one option we have is the particle information. So this isn't available in Eevee, it's only available in Cycles. There was a tutorial that Andrew Price did about seven years ago on creating sparks. We're gonna kind of use that same method methodology, but use this as with the smoke texture. So from here, I'm going to add in a math node and we're gonna put age and lifetime into these and we'll change this to divide um, Andrew Price from Blender Guru he goes into more details on why we do this and I'll put a link in the description to that for this specific section from here I'm going to add in a color ramp and we'll put this value in here 
I'm going to, from here, change this node. I don't know what to call it. We will turn down the alpha and let's bring this one up and we'll change this to white. And also while we're at it, let's come back to this one and we will select black. There we go. From here, we're going to do a mix shader. And we'll plug that one in, plug the alpha into there and let's get another transparent and bring this up here and we want it sitting on top. And so what now is gonna happen is it's gonna get the lifetime of the node, of the texture and the age, and it's gonna kind of do some maths and it should now fade away. And let's come up to the top and change it to rendered viewport. And if we slowly come through, it's still being a jerk. And so if we zoom in now, we can see that what we have is we've got this first one disappearing and then everything else kind of just starts to pop, which is not what we want. And that's probably because we've uh, we deleted all the other objects in the collection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reselect this, control G and let's create a smoke collection too. Let's go back into the particle system and come down to render as collection and we'll change this to number two. And now, we should have that semi fall, the fall off. So it kind of just dissipates. Now in the final version, I actually have them fading in. And you can see down the bottom right here, you can see where it just kind of like fades in. All I've done is I will add a new node in. Let's move this all the way to the side and let's double click on the color. Uh, let's change that all the way to black and the alpha, sorry, to black and the alpha all the way down to zero. And now what it's gonna do is gonna go kind of from alpha to full color and then back down. We could even go so far as to duplicate this one. And let's just give it some more whiteness. And then it's kind of like this steam, especially this material, smoke one, will now hang around a little bit longer as it goes through. So now we're not gonna have any popping as they spawn. So let's now quickly go and duplicate this object just so we got variants in the texture. Uh, just like we did before. And so I've recreated the collection and we can see that it slowly dissipates. Lovely, beautiful. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content and any, any other free content that I'm giving out.